Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hi friends, just a quick message. If you are enjoying the content of this channel and you think you would like to take the time to support me, anything is appreciated, even a dollar a month if you want to. Check out the link down below. Patron, thank you. Namaste and enjoy your meditation. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Are you ready to listen to a story? To calm down after your long, busy day? To unwind and relax and just kind of chill on your bed? Try and stay as still as you can. Maybe take a couple of deep breaths before we start so you feel relaxed and comfortable. Okay, Heidi, Cherry and Vea had a delivery. They had a new cat bed. The new cat bed was very luxurious. It was furry and pink and it felt very, very soft. It was lovely. They really liked it. But what was really cool about the delivery was the box. The box that the cat bed came in was enormous, big enough for all three of them to have a lot of fun in. Heidi suggested that their cat box could be a house. Cherry said their cat box could be a submarine where they could go traveling under the ocean. And Vea said that their cat box could be a hot air balloon where when they climbed inside they could fly across the country. All three of them sounded like really good ideas. Either way, the cats were getting in that box. When they got inside of the box, they closed all the flaps up and sat inside. And Heidi said, wouldn't it be funny if this cat box was a time travel machine? Cherry said, OMG, that would be absolutely amazing. I've always wanted to travel backwards and forwards in time. Can you imagine where we could go? We could go all over the place. We could go back in time as far as like when they made the pyramids. Can you imagine how far back that was? That was ancient, ancient, ancient times ago. Back in Egypt. I wonder how they made those pyramids because of those rocks. Have you seen the size of those rocks? Those rocks, each one of those rocks is like as big as our apartment. How on earth did any men with no machinery move those rocks to make a pyramid? It's just beyond me. Vea said, mm, I, me, me would like to go back in time and meet Walt Disney because me, if I met Walt Disney, then maybe, maybe Walt Disney would make a princess character out of me, Princess Vaya. That would be like the bestest ever, don't you think? They all had ideas about where they would like to go backwards and forwards in time. But little did they know that the box had its own idea. The box started to rumble and shake. And Heidi started laughing and said, Cherry, stop shaking the box. Cherry said, that's not me. I'm not doing it. Vea said, me not doing it. Heidi said, I'm not doing it. They all kind of moved up to the sides of the outside of the box and felt around and didn't feel like it was moving at that moment. But then all of a sudden it would rumble and shake again. They all looked at each other as if to say, who's doing it? Cherry said, it's really not me. I'm not. I promise. I promise I'm not doing anything. Look, look, all my paws aren't doing anything. And she laid on her back and held up all her paws. Heidi did the same thing. And so did Vea. Nobody was moving the box. Yet the box was rumbling and shaking. Heidi said, I know what's happening. And she popped her head outside of the box to see if one of their owners was rumbling the box around just to play a joke on them. Uh-uh, no one was there. 
She pulled her head back inside of the box and said, no one's on the outside. How is this box moving around so much? And then all of a sudden the box started to really, really rumble and shake. And then something really weird happened. The cats, well, looked at each other and didn't recognize each other. Heidi was really, really tiny. A tiny little kitten. And so was Cherry. And so was Vea. All three of them had travelled back in time to when they were baby kittens. They were all tiny. So, so tiny. And each one of them were suckling on their mummies. They didn't speak. All they did was well, make little meow. Meow. Heidi said to Cherry, Meow. 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 And Cherry said, Meow. 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 And Vea said, Meow. Meow. Of course. They understood each other, but no one else did. Because they were tiny, tiny little kittens. Each one of them got to see each other as tiny little kittens. Vea was just like a little white fluff ball with little blue eyes. Cherry was all ginger, like a little ginger ball of wool. And Heidi was grey tiny, tiny little grey cat. They were so cute, just like little fluff balls, each one of them. And then the box started rumbling again. And then all of a sudden, the cats zoomed forward into the future. Cherry said, Oh, um, gee, I can barely move my paws. What happened? She looked over at Heidi and Heidi was super, super old. Heidi said, Oh, I don't know, but all I want to do is just sleep. I can't be bothered to get up and do anything. I'd just like to sleep if that's okay. And Heidi had a big fat tummy. Like all she did was eat and sleep. This was funny as far as Cherry was concerned. Oh, 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 oh. Look, look at your tummy. Your tummy so big and round. Heidi said, speak for yourself. Look at your tummy. Cherry looked down and realised she had a big fat cat tummy too. Oh, um, gee, this is awful. I really don't, I don't want to be old. Don't, don't like it. I can't, I can't, I don't feel like jumping around or anything. I just want to just be quiet. That's... Doesn't feel like me at all. It's awful. Vea was still very athletic, it looked like. Cherry was watching Vea, and Vea was still spinning around and doing princess dance moves and things. Vea said, I've been dancing my whole life, and I'm still dancing to this day. Look, she did a brilliant pirouette. Yoga also really helps, she said. Cherry said, What? Yoga? You've been doing yoga all your life and you still are all like uh, healthy and stuff. How come you 
don't have a fat tummy, like me and Heidi, Vea said. That would be the yoga. They were all really funny, old. The box started to rumble again, and the cats looked at each other, and they were in the present day, and Jerry said, OMG! Oh my goodness! I don't think I want to get old! You you were really funny! <laughs> she was laughing at Heidi. You had the biggest belly! Your belly was bigger than my belly, at least. But my belly was really big too. I really didn't like it. And I couldn't move around or anything. I felt really like crunchy and old and stiff. Heidi said, Oh, it was, it was awful. It was like all I wanted to do was go to sleep and... And not do anything and just just sleep and eat and sleep and eat. Vea said, me, me liked being old. Heidi said, well, I'm not surprised because you look great. Cherry said, yeah, be quiet, Vea. Just because you did like dancing and yoga all your life, that didn't mean you were that great. Well, actually, you were great. You were really great, old. You were really like fit and healthy and stuff. And me and poor Heidi, we were just all like crunchy and old and had big, big cat tummies and, and didn't want to do anything. I'm going to start doing yoga and dancing every day because if, if I'm going to get like that, when I get old, I really don't want to. I'm going to be like Vea. Heidi said, I'm going to be like Vea too. I'm going to do yoga and, and start dancing every day. Yeah, let's both do it. Let's all do it every day together. Heidi said, what about when we were babies? Could you understand what I was saying? Freya said, me understood. Me understood everything. Me understood that you were saying that you were hungry. <laughs> Cherry said, that's all we... <laughs> that's all I could say. That's all I could say when I was younger. Meow, meow. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I don't think I liked being young. It was quite limiting. All I could do was just eat, suckle and eat and suckle and eat until I got older and I could start to talk. And then, oh, thank goodness I could talk. Heidi said, it was nice though to be young, don't you think? And just not have any worries and be a baby and just be with your mummy and that's it. Vea said, hmm, me liked that, me liked that part. That was very nice. But I think I liked being older better. I liked the fact that I could dance and move a lot more than when I was a baby. Cherry said, I think, I think, I like this box. I like it a lot because we could go all over the place. I really do want to go to the pyramids. We could go all over, all over the world in this box. But I don't want to go back to being a kitten. And I don't want to be old unless my future changes. And I do a lot of yoga. And, and I don't eat so much. Then... I think I'd like to go and visit and see what I look like when I'm older. But right now, no. Mm, didn't like it. Did not like it at all. Hey, you know what? I bet this box can make you have the bestest, sleepiest dreams ever. Let's like pull. Oh, I know what we can do. Let's pull our new cat bed back into the box. And then sleep on the cat bed in the box and time travel while we sleep. How awesome would that be? Heidi said, ooh, that's a really good idea. We could visit our friends. We could go see Tucker and Leo. And we can go see all our different friends. Ooh, ooh, you know what? We could do all sorts of stuff. So the cats manage to pull the new cat bed back into the box, push it down and snuggle it just right so that all three of them could lay on their bed, snuggle down with each other, get comfortable and quiet, and start to have the most amazing 
time travel dreams. Cherry dreamed she was flying on the back of a giant eagle, flying over Egypt. And in her dream, she got to see exactly who built the pyramids. Now, that's a secret. Heidi went back in time to visit one of her most favorite, favorite TV famous people, Charlie Chaplin. She loved Charlie Chaplin, even though there were silent movies and there were no noise and no one talked. He was just super funny and she really liked his mustache. She went and made a movie with Charlie Chaplin. And Vea dreamed that she was on a giant air balloon flying over Disneyland before it was even built. And she got to meet Walt Disney. And Walt Disney was so impressed with how fantastic of a cat she was that the very first story he ever created had a princess Vea, the prettiest cat of all time, in it. The cats had the bestest dreams. It was like every time they woke up and then snuggled back down and got back to sleep, they dreamed about something else that they always wanted to know about. They just time traveled there and found out information or had magical dreams or had dreams that involved their fantasies coming true. It was the bestest time travel box ever. They were going to have so many cool adventures in this box. The 